Hi. So as a graduate student studying how emotions develop, I spent a lot of time making children cry or making parents make children cry and then observing how parents and children navigated that sticky emotional situation together. And as I spent hours and hours watching these interactions, I began to suspect that parents and children were sharing emotions in ways that I couldn't observe, that I couldn't see. There was something invisible, perhaps unconscious, and yet deeply powerful going on in the communication that these dyads or these pairs were doing. I hypothesized that perhaps part of this communication is actually going on underneath the skin in terms of physiology, things like changes in heart rate or blood flow or hormones. So perhaps one partner in a social interaction can transmit their emotions through their physiology so that it's manifested in the other person. To test this hypothesis, we induced a fight or flight stress response in mothers and asked the question of whether their babies would catch that emotion, even though they were completely unexposed to the stressful situation itself. So while babies were in another room playing, mothers gave a speech in front of strangers who either offered negative evaluative feedback or positive evaluative feedback. And this is what their bodies did. So as we would expect, Negative feedback gives us a stronger stress response than positive feedback, which gives us a stronger stress response than the control condition, which was no evaluation at all. But what did their babies do? We see the exact same stress response in their infants. So these babies, without having the verbal ability to talk to their moms about what had just happened to them, or the cognitive ability to understand what had just happened to their mothers, nonetheless felt what their mothers were feeling. The residue of mother's emotional experiences changed their babies from the inside out. So if we can catch the emotions of the people we interact with, if our heartbeats echo the heartbeats of others, what does this mean at our current moment in history? A time when fear and hate seemingly rule the day, when people are mired in irreconcilable opposition to each other. For me, I know, especially after Tuesday, I can sometimes despair that we can really close the divide and truly understand the impact of our words and deeds on those who we believe or perceive are fundamentally different from us, whether that's the way they look or the way they think or the way they pray or the way they love. But maybe we don't have to understand them. Maybe we can use our body's own natural capacity to synchronize with others, to instantiate their emotional experiences in us, to create emotional resonance between us. And from this space of caught emotion, of synchronized hearts, if not minds, a space that we have the tools currently to quantify and monitor, we can begin to heal our world. Thank you.